to recover all. But when he got through 
the light ate. Yep. Yeah. So she tore her garment up because she was no longer a virgin. Not because it was her fault. Some things in life is not our fault, and some things is. But in this particular passage of scripture, it wasn't her fault. The only fault she had was you. you. Uh -huh. The devil knows that the anointing of God is beautiful, is valuable. And it's greater than anything else. It's greater. And so after he got her in there and he assaulted her and he ripped stuff away from her that belonged to her, he ripped her peace away. Break 
And Naaman said, Help out all the men from me. And they went out, everyone from me. The enemy will get you in a place and he'll cause you to start cutting everybody out of your life. Why are you going over? Why are you going over to your mama's house today? You don't need to see her today. Why, why your cousins always got to be at your house? Why you got to go over there? And he'll begin to cut the people out of your life. You know why? So he can get you by himself. So Amos put all the men out. And Amos said unto Tamar, bring the meat into the chamber that I may eat of thine hand. And took the cakes that which she had made and brought them into the chamber to Amos, her brother. And when she had brought unto him, he took hold of her and said unto her, Come fly with me, my sister. And she answered and said, Nay, my brother, do not force me, for no such thing ought to be done in Israel. Do not do this, Father. And I, well, shall I cause my shame to go. As for thee, thou shalt be as the one of the fools in Israel. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak unto the king, but he will not hold me from thee. How then he would not hearken unto her voice, being stronger than her, he forced her to let him. Y'all, the enemy ain't no joke. A lot of times we just say, oh, the enemy ain't no joke, and the people that the enemy sent in your life ain't no joke. The situations that he sent, it's not always a person. Stress. Unrest. Broken peace. It will destroy you if we don't let God recover us. Recover us. It will kill us because the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Now, y'all, he said kill. Now, first of all, it ain't like bam, kill. But just let me kill him mentally first. Steal, I'm going to steal their help. I'm going to steal their mind. I'm going to steal their joy. I'm going to steal their finances. I'm going to steal their children. I'm going to steal everything they got. He don't want our car. He don't want our house. He want our peace. That's right. Because when we get our peace, we lose our mind and we don't know what we're doing. That's right. That's right. Spiritually raped because our 
that everything and every day is victimizing you. My God. Everywhere I go, people do me wrong. Well, Lord, they stole my money. Mm. Well, Lord, they took this. And sometimes people say it so much you don't believe them. But then when you come down to the end, you found out it's true. Life and situations will take everything we get. But we can't sell around and be a victim. We got to get up.
all in the name of the Lord. I had to think a minute, should I say that since we're recording, but I want people to know that everything that we see, everything that we hear, and everything that we do in the name of the Lord, sometimes God is the farthest thing from us. And as my friend used to say, God ain't it. But I want God to recover. To restore unto me the joy of my salvation. I want to always rejoice. And again I say rejoice. I got to keep praying.
Wait till she get right in the middle of prayer. The praise get real high. Just wait. And tell her that, that she didn't cut that pot off the stove. I promise you, I know the Holy Ghost will cut some pots off. Yes, yes. I, I promise you, he had. Call me crazy if you want to, but I promise you, he had. You be up this praise and go, oh, God, thank you. Then stepped over into the inner courts. And he started messing with you. And if you don't, and if you don't stay focused, they looking at you doing all that Hollywood spring. You find yourself whew, and go back to your seat. But baby, next week when I need God, I don't care if you're looking at me or not. I don't care how loud you think I am. I don't care what you think. When I come to the house of God, I come for God to move in my life. Because he has caused me to recover. And he is restoring me. And he is reprogramming my mind. And God, I want you to do this every day. Well, Lord, every day. Life comes at you, honey. And what I had yesterday ain't good enough for the day. God to reprogram me, recover me, restore me. So I can't always be abound in the works of the Lord. So I can be powerful in my prayer. So I can be peaceful. So I can live an everlasting, everlasting joy for life. I got to recover all of this in heaven. And I'm getting ready to come to a close. I'm still in the time limit, y'all. My prayer, my prayer, my prayer. Oh, Lord, deliver me from myself. Lord, I ain't, I ain't worried about the one next to me, my neighbor, my children, whatever. God, deliver me from me. And if you deliver me from me, then I can deal with all the rest of the stuff. Because my mind is the one playing tricks on me. I promise y'all, I'm driving down the road the other day. Across the Ohio Bridge, when it happened, I said I was going to tell you. Driving down the bridge. And I was on my way to get my album shot for that. And then, just as I was driving one day, I was thinking about what I'm doing. The devil said, you know you ain't going to do it long, don't you? I said, the devil is alive. I refuse to imitate that something. I'm just riding across the bridge, minding my business. That's what I'm talking about. He come to stress you. He come to get you excited. He come to stress you out. A baby, my God, that told me that I'm more precious than Bruce. I'm more bad than God. And I looked up how much the most expensive, valuable ruby has ever been sold, like some eight, four million dollars. Y'all, that's a whole bunch of money. Me and my children and my children's children and their children can live off of that if they do it if they did right. Now, if a ruby is worth that, but God said I was more valuable than a ruby, shoot. God, I thank you. Recover. Oh, my other part of my prayer is my thoughts and my thought process. Because sometimes we don't process thoughts the way God wants us to process. We, we don't process stuff like that. So say, how can you say that? Because when a man can take a Bible and make it fit what they want it to fit, we ain't processing our mind the way we want that God wants it to be processed. And this is a bit Mother Allen, me and you both go through this, okay? God deliver me from the way I allow things to take hold of me. And he don't want to turn me on. Ain't he my problem? God, I'm worried to death about you. 
weary to death about the branches. Lord, have mercy. One Lord Jesus. Lord, the devil is alive. And the only way I can do that, God has to recover and reform my own process. I used to tell my mama that I messed around, messed around, and got myself that. I used to tell my mama, God didn't give me the one brain. I can't thank for me and you, and we find ourselves trying to thank for everybody. And it's turning up and we go to bed at night. We can't sleep. They some are sleeping or doing whatever. But we can't sleep because we low down. But they problem. Yes. And if God will help me, he'll show help them. But you know what? If anybody in here is this, is this walk easy for you? You got some work to do. And what, what the enemy does, he sends people. To train us of everything we get. And then at night time, we try to figure out why we can't split the talk turn in there. Really but y'all, God said we can't recover. Every time I get an opportunity to move my legs. I praise God. Because medically, I should be on a cane. Might even need a walker. And sometimes a wheelchair. But the devil is a liar. God promised me. Because that was my quest. Now I can't help what nobody else do with God. God, I will go through this. If you allow me to be able to walk when I come out of it. And I've been doing five times. And I'm still walking. I get a little stiff. But I am recovering my strength.